we found out why there has been such an epidemic of stupidity in the United States. It seems Russia. mean with a country. There is no collusion. There is no collusion. To the hardest part of in this plan. And that is? We're going to take Washington. And the two villains headed off for our nation's capital. A few days later, they were in the Congressional Visitors Gallery listening to the speeches. Mr. Chairman, I'm against all foreign aid, especially to places like Hawaii and Alaska. I demand we increase taxes for everybody under 67. How old are you? 68. We've got to get the government out of government! Well, it's got... ...has attacked us with a secret weapon called goof gas. Right. One poof, you're a goof? Yes, for the past several... Yes, yes. yes. What, what is, is it? Get a demo. Oh, Boris, that's terrible. It's the horrors of war, Natasha. Now, uh, Natasha. Go. You're not going to squirt them with goof gas? It's too late. Somebody beat us to it. Then where next? It's going to be big surprise. Surprise indeed. For the two no good nicks were headed straight for... I said it was going to be surprise. They were headed... It was all the fault of a mean little man from a mean little country. Go on, say the name. Ta-da! Yes, armed with a weapon which fired clouds of a strange substance called goof gas, Boris was lowering the nation's IQ in a hurry. You boys stop playing in that mother, I'll tell your father the doctor. Lady, that is my father the doctor. The chairman, I propose we set up a $28 million committee to find out why the government is spending so much money. We need the wall. You think he's already had some goof gas? Natasha, what he said, that is goof gas. <laughs> Something bad is happening. Something bad is happening. And we can't be the stupid ones.